Colby Young, biggest positive player surprise for 20 Absolutely. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Um, he, I mean, yeah, you get a 6'5 Juco guy like during fall camp, and then he ends up being your number one receiver, basically. Uh, yeah, that the return on that investment was, you know, I put $5 into this company that my dorm room friends or my yeah friends on my floor in my dorm are starting uh and they needed twenty dollars to buy a domain so i gave them you know five dollars so i have twenty percent of the company and the company ends up being google well maybe not that but you know what i mean like that's the kind of return like i mean like you really just uh, uh, on a flyer on a lark and this kid becomes you know the number one receiver on the team so you know, hopefully he's able to to continue that kind of a thing. And, you know, hopefully – and, you know, you had other guys who took steps forward as well. I mean, Cameron Kitchens was an All-American blue chip recruit, you know, and he ends up being a first-team All-American this year. Leonard Taylor, incredibly productive. Now it was intermittent and maybe not the overall numbers because, you know, you had other guys on the line like an Akeem Mesidor comes in and he's honorable mention All-ACC, um, you know, this year and things. But, yeah, I think that Colby Young, yeah, like in terms of – yeah, the return on investment, you know, what you thought you, you might get from him uh, to what you got in those. Now, eventually they, I mean, the passing, the offense was terrible. So I guess some of his in, uh, impact was mitigated throughout the rest of the season. But yeah, he uh, he was pretty good. So, of course, we always take uh, the comments from the live chat and we are inviting you to, of course, leave those comments and questions for Cam. But also we tend to, at times, and this is my responsibility, ignore those uh, comments that came out during the week from a number of people. Now, I, I will, I'm going to take homage um, uh, um, to, to one, that why, why this is a uh, haymark, uh, and this will be our only diversion from Miami football. How much did Ohio State pay out in NIL, blah, 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 and then he goes on to talk about Ryan Day's statement and then calls me a hit hypocrite or maybe he's a hit i don't know if ryan day's the hypocrite. ryan day is the hypocrite okay all right that's it that's okay because my point was going to be we don't talk about ohio state football here unless there's some kind of national topic of course but well, uh, we, we talk ohio state on the ohio state show well but I, let me let me interject there especially okay. because the the nudge nudge wink wink unsaid part is you know guys like brandon ennis from american heritage you know, five-star wide receiver signs to O State, then talking about, oh well, you know, um, I did get NIL offers from other teams, but you know, da da da, and of course everybody connects, you know, two plus two equals four. Quick math, and like, oh well, Miami offered him an NIL deal. I mean, it's the landscape. So like, yeah, we're offering pretty much anybody. Now you're not having meetings with NIL representatives until you've signed because in the state of Florida you cannot as a high schooler do that. And it's not pay for play. Like it is an inducement. It is an addition, but like, yeah, to be like, Oh yeah, well, you know, these teams tried to recruit our guys um, and they were offering NIL stuff, but they signed, you know, with us, what you're trying to tacitly say is like, we didn't do that. But like, to the point of the commenter, it's the landscape of recruiting. Now, if you're not paying NIL, then you're doing it wrong, you know, but Hey, and of course, for the full uh, rundown of any of the recent signees, go to State of the U and check out uh, Cam's recruiting notebook. Is that the correct term? Recruiting notebooks, yes. Yes. One for every single player. Whew. And it's funny because, like, you know, people talk, oh, well, like nobody wants to read all those and da 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 da. And then other sites are going through and doing notebooks now. Or player breakdown, like, you know, whatever, like the, the notebook vibe, they're calling it something different, but like, they're basically, they're doing notebooks one a day or one every couple of days. Uh, and it's just funny to me, especially when a lot of those guys are like, yeah, like there's no value in that. And why are you da, 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 da. And then, hmm, hmm, <laughs> cur interesting, curious even, but you know, Hey, like I said, I stand on my work. I know that we are at the top of what we do and how we do it. Uh, and I mean, there's other websites who do things differently, uh, you know, and, and whatnot. And they no umbrage, you know, or anything taking the, no, I'm not going to take anything away from them, but I am also going to stake my claim and talk my shit about what we do and how we do it. 
So, of course, there's a full profile on Emery Williams there. Yurt. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, no, yeah, there is. I'm sorry. I, I was uh, drinking the water, as you can see. Go ahead. Yeah, you, go know, ahead. you know what's going on right now? Now that I've got the other page pulled up to look at comments, I can't even see your responses or facial expressions now because I'm, I'm, oh, I've got the full screen bad. on the, uh, the comments it, here. It. 